All right, guys, so we're going to try and recreate another reflex track in Supercross the Game 2. Now, uh, there's a bunch of them that would be really, really hard to to do, or a bunch of them that have uh, right-handed first turns. So today, it's not going to be the easiest track, but I'm going to try and redo Switchyard. I'm going to try. Now, it does jump back over the starting gate and all that stuff, but uh, we're going to try our best to recreate Switchyard. All right, we're just going to try out uh, this early little bit we have here. All right. Yeah, so far so good. I feel like that's going to work. I'm kind of a little bit worried I'm going to run out of space over here. But, uh, well, here, let's check this. Is there any way we could push the start... Like, uh, farther to the wall over here. Not really. Huh? You know what? I'm okay with that. And then we're gonna come back this way, and we're gonna have a pretty long rhythm section here heading back towards the start. Alright guys, I am having the hardest time at trying to make this work. I'm okay here. This isn't the problem. It's uh, this next straight. I'm running out of room. Alright, there I'm okay. Well, that's similar. I mean, it's really, it's just, uh, you know, it, they're two different games, so the smoothness isn't there like it was in Reflex. Hitting that similar, or uh, that same line. Let's try again. And I really wanted to do it in the indoor stadium, but I just couldn't make it work. I have a little bit more room here. So this would be the alternate line. All right, I'm okay with that. The only thing I would do maybe is switch out this jump and just make it the big whoop, uh, which is what these are. So all those would be the same. Maybe we'll do that. Oh, man. Well, you've seen it probably. I mean, there's different ways you can go through this, so here's another way. And then we have to have the over-unders here. Then the wheel tap. Might have been a bit too much. Yeah, that was too much. And then this. Triple on. Jump to here and then over. Oh man, that actually works really good. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's try it again. If I'd stop over jumping that uh, wheel tap. Oh man, it's actually really easy to over jump that. Okay. So we might not have to go all the way outside to get that. And then... Double to there, and then you double over it. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's stick with that. Alright guys, so we have the track finished. I have not validated it yet, but I do kind of want to show you the track in a, a really, really slow lap here, just to kind of compare. So in Reflex, I believe there was a roller on the start, which I couldn't do. And then you have the step on, step off here into this baby whoop section, into the supercross triple. And then here is one of the first rhythm sections. So you can triple in. It's not that bad. You can triple in and then you can quad out. So you're quadding off the back of that table to here. And then you can either double this or triple this. So if you double, you'll have a double, double out. If you triple, you would have a triple and then you would double to here like in Reflex, and then you would single off of this, but it works so much better in Reflex, but you can still do it. Here you have a really small wheel tap into another Supercross triple. And then here it did have a staggered, oops, back up. Uh, here it did have this uh, staggered, and basically you're tripling in, tripling to the next table, and then stepping off of this 
to here. Now this is really similar. It's a little bit different. In Reflex, this was like a, it was a triple, but it blended into the corner so much better than what you can do in this game. And the corner, I believe, was a little bit raised. It had uh, separated lines here. Maybe it was a little bit off camber too. I don't remember. But uh, there's multiple ways through that rhythm section. Here is the first bridge. And then you have the step on here and step off. Now, I would say from this whoop section to the very end is the weakest part of the track. There, Obviously, that section is too small. It's not long enough. This finish line is way too small. And then here, you can triple over this, and then you would step onto the over-under ahead of us and step off or triple it. Uh, there's a few different ways you can do it. And in Reflex, it was similar because this is like a... This was like a triple, kind of before it connected back to the start straight, but you could step onto the table behind us and then double to here and then like double out or something. I don't remember, but you cannot do that in this version of the track that I did. And then in Reflex, there was just like a small jump that jumped over the starting gate back onto the start straight here. So that's kind of what the track looks like in this version. I know it's missing some things. Uh, few different variations. I believe I stuck a table in somewhere where it technically was like a double, but uh, it was it was similar enough. It looked similar enough and worked kind of the same as a table that I just put a table in instead. Kind of a track walk, I guess, around Switchyard here. We're going to jump into the, the better laps, the uh, regular speed laps, I guess. I, I wouldn't call them fast laps, but we're going to jump into some regular laps here with a post commentary to wrap up this video. Okay, so here we have the track completely finished. It is done, and I'm just testing it out in Track Editor. I haven't validated it yet. I did save, so the track still does exist, and it is on PC, but uh, yeah, I do have it saved, and, and I did a few laps here. This is a post-commentary. We do hit the triple, the quad, and then we go for the corner triple, and then the double, and then the single, and that was a really, really sweet line in Reflex, but the single out isn't as smooth in this game as it was in Reflex, but it is still an option. I would say it's best to go for the the double. Here, that is actually not a table in Reflex. It's a, I don't know, it's like a double, but it was really similar to the table, so I figured the way this game works and you can't replicate it perfect, I decided to put the table in there. And there is a few different ways through that rhythm section. Now here, again, I did mention, I believe, this is probably the weaker part of the track. That whoop section's too short. The finish line is way too small, and the scaling on this is really weird. I mean, it's similar. It's it's really similar to how, to how it was in Reflex, but yeah, I don't know. It just didn't work out the way I wanted it to, and then we have the bridge, so we can connect back to the, the start straight from the, the back side. And that is basically a lap. Now, I'm curious. I don't remember exactly. I know I did a few laps here, and I was pretty happy with most of them. Do we hit a different line here? No, we still go triple, quad. Now we might go, no, we decided to do the triple again because I do feel like, there we hit it uh, quite a bit better actually. I do feel like that double is is better and that wheel tap can be kind of, I don't know, kind of sketchy if you don't do it just right. Now you can triple to the table like we did or you can actually quad over that table and then have this triple uh, into this corner. And then I don't know if I showed it yet. If I haven't, you will see it. You can actually send it off of that uh, over under, land off the takeoff for the step on step off, and then triple over the the table and the step off part of that step on step off. I know that was kind of confusing. I hope it made sense. But if it didn't, you'll see it here in a second. Now, I do believe we go for the triple here. No big deal. And the track is very, I mean, I really only used about half of the outdoor stadium. And I chose the outdoor stadium because it gave me a tiny bit more room heading into the direction of this uh, Supercross triple here. It allowed me to fit this in just a tiny bit better. So that's the only reason I chose the, the outdoor stadium. And I know I didn't plan out the layout as good. There we go with the wheel tap. Go with the triple and then a triple into the corner. Then we actually hit the double double here. So there you go. That is the... I mean, I don't know if that's a better way, but I like having that double out into the under part of the over-unders, you know what I mean? 
Now I do eventually try to get onto this table. We do mess it up here. You can step off. I don't know. There's a bunch of different ways to hit it here. And and I'm really happy with this section too. The only thing I wish I could split the the lanes in that corner, but that's not really an option in this game. Step on, step off is fine. It is a little bit spaced out. And did I mention it? I do feel like this is a very second gear kind of track. I mean, sometimes I'm really revving it in second gear, but it just, it works. Second gear seems to work better on the track than third gear, actually. So, yeah, if, uh, if I do get this validated and get it put up so you can play it if you're on PC or if you try to replicate it, uh, I do recommend second gear. Third, for sure, too. And I suppose it just kind of depends on how you play. Now, I do want to see if we ever get that back section differently where we step onto that table. And then, like I said, if you did not see that ginormous line where we sent it off of the first over-under, I will make sure to show you that here at the end. Yeah, I really like that line. So it is fun. I mean, there is different line choices. And, of course, I made the track, so I'm going to be proud of it. It's not the best version. I'm sure people could do better, uh, do a better switch yard. But, you know, it... it uh, it is a thing. Yeah, here we step on, step off, and then we'll triple over. And then you have the kind of a triple, I guess. I mean, it's the closest thing that I could think of to put there that would uh, be similar to how it was in Reflex for Switchyard. And if I, if you, if you missed it and you're curious, this is supposed to be uh, a remake of Switchyard in Supercross the Game 2. So I don't know if there's another lap. There might be. If there's not, uh, we're going to... Probably in the video here, but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.